Prince George will likely join the armed forces regardless of the risks it poses, a royal commentator has said. The future king made headlines this week after the Mail on Sunday reported that he will not be expected to serve in the military before taking to the throne. The story sparked a debate with the likes of Anne Whittacombe, writing for The Express, saying she believes that George should give up his birthright if he abstains from joining the armed forces. Discussing the news on the Daily Express's Royal Roundup, Richard Palmer said he believes the young prince will, more likely than not, join the armed forces. The royal correspondent said that the safety risk is unlikely to stand in the way although it is unlikely he would serve in a war zone. Britain split on whether royal heirs should serve in the military if the prince, who turns 10 this week, were to opt out of joining the military, he would be breaking with a tradition centuries years old to which both his father and grandfather adhered. It was reported that although an heir joining the armed forces lends crucial legitimacy to the monarchy, Prince William's longtime friend historian Dominic Sandbrook said there is actually nothing stopping George from pursuing a career as an astronaut and later becoming king. He told the Mail, the rules are different now, he wouldn't necessarily have to follow the old formula of going into the military and then royal life. So. Could Charlotte qualify as a doctor, for example? I don't see why not. It's less of a fishbowl now than when William and Harry were growing up. But Mr. Palmer, speaking on Thursday, said he believes George will follow in his father's footsteps. Prince William completed more than seven years of full-time military service. He said, on the one hand, you could say it's not 100% certain that he will join the armed forces but if I was putting money on it I would say that Prince George will join the armed forces. Royal Roundup host Pandora Forsyth raised the point that George's serving would pose a safety risk, as seen with the likes of Prince Harry, who served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan. But Mr. Palmer believes George would serve in a similar capacity as his father, not serving in a war zone. Yet rescuing people off mountains was not devoid of risk, Mr. Palmer said, as one false move could have proved fatal. Don't miss! William and Kate allowed to put children before royal work, but that's changing. Report, Prince Louis still waiting for royal milestone both his siblings have reached, insight, should Prince George have to serve in the army before becoming king? Poll, he continued, I think it won't stop him joining the armed forces when the time comes but it will mean he probably won't be able to serve in a war zone because this is what happened with Prince William. But let's not pretend that William wasn't in danger when he was working as an RAF helicopter pilot for example. Only time will tell but George appears to be showing an interest in the military already. During a visit to Royal International Air Tattoo at RAF Fairford in Gloucestershire last week, he was tasked with raising the C-17 transporter aircraft ramp and sat in the cockpit flicking switches, 